guys. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a review on the Becca um, Backlight Priming Filter. Um, I freaking love this primer. Um, so I'm going to just share with you um, a little bit about it. So I got this. So here's what the bottle looks like. First of all, is this packaging not the prettiest? I love how they package this. It's so, I don't know. I love how, I guess, sleek it is. Um, it is a glass bottle. Uh, it's a clear, clear glass bottle. Um, I don't feel like they um, have a lot of excess packaging because the bottom, I don't know if you can see, but the bottom, the product actually fills it out. So it's not like there's a huge bulk of extra, which I can appreciate. Um, but this top, is this top not cool? I love that. So it says Becca on the top and this comes off and it's a squeeze tube or a, no, not a squeeze tube. It's a pump, um, which I have to just say, I love anything with a pump. Um, and so I'm wearing this under my foundation today and I just, there's something about this primer that I think just adds life back into the skin. I have oily skin, as you guys all know, and for the longest time, I never wanted anything that had any kind of, I guess, luminous claim to it like this does, um, because I figured that it would make my skin look like a freaking disco ball because I have oily skin, and who wants that? So um, I just have shied away from a project like this for so long. And when it um, went on the uh, Ulta 21 Days of Beauty uh, a couple months ago, I decided to try it. So this is normally $38. I ended up picking mine up for $19. Um, so I figured that was a really good price um, to just try it and see what I thought about it. And I just love it. So the amount that you're getting in here um, is actually a pretty generous amount. It's um, one fluid ounce, which to me, this doesn't look like one fluid ounce. It just, it to me, it just looks like there's so much in here, but you don't need a ton. I use about a pump of this for my entire face and that takes care of it. So, um, but here's what the, the outer box looks like. Um, and I, this is just awesome. So, um, it's, so let me just read um, from the back of this. Um, it says, more than just a primer, it's a secret behind the iconic Becca Glow. Infused with three unique filtering luminescent uh, pearls, each one adds a different drop of diffused light. Blended together, they result in a first of its, land, of its kind, lightweight whipped fluid that creates a smooth canvas and acts as an instant filter blurs imperfections and, and gives skin a healthy luminescent, luminescent glow. Um, so that is, I guess, kind of the claim. Um, honestly, I feel like as far as the blurs and perfections um, side of things, I don't know that it does that necessarily. Um, I do have some acne um, and some acne scarring. Um, and does it you know, take care of that? No, of course not, because it's a primer. Um, but I, uh, I, I do think that um, obviously the glow claim is is uh, valid because it does give a little healthy glow. Um, but I, overall, the claims on this are not huge, and I feel like it lives up to each claim, um, with the exception of the. Um, blurs and perfections um, claim. I just don't, for my, this is just for my skin. I just don't feel like it does that. Um, now, as far as it being a filter, I, you know, it's, it's like when you use filters for pictures, you know, it's supposed to take away the, you know, the obvious um, imperfections, you know, the obvious um, little, little mistakes, you know, um, I, I don't know that I see that necessarily, um, but it just could be my skin. Um, so, but overall I feel like it lives up to, um, the claims that it has. 
So, uh, but yeah, I, I really, really do love this primer. Um, let me show you what it looks like. Um, so let me see if I can do this. So I use about a pump. Um, and so you see how thin it is. So that's how much I use. And, um, hopefully you can see that. So, and it just blends out to this. Of course, you know, once you get it blended in, right? Um, it just blends to this just luminous, um, luminous glow. You can already see that it's uh, getting to that state of just being really um, just a glowy product. So let me get it all blended in here. Um, I really do feel like it's and honestly the the texture of this is so smooth so soft um i really really love this so the texture is just awesome all right so there it is all blended out so you can see the difference how there it catches the light a little bit and it's not a lot because once you put a foundation on top it you know it's not like oh disco ball so I just love this subtle glow that it gives because look at this hand. This hand has nothing on it. And you see the difference? I just think that this just adds just a healthy, a healthy look um, to the skin. Uh, I feel like it brings that life back into the skin. Um, and I, I just feel like, uh, and even, you know, even for oily skin people, I feel like it just brings some some life back into my skin, especially if I use a matte foundation. Um, I think that this would really help it not to be so flat. Um, so that's one thing that I really like about it. Um, so yeah, so the texture's awesome. Um, it's, uh, so when it's all blended in, you can kind of see it's a little tacky. It sticks to the skin very well. Um, but it's not, it's tacky, it's a little tacky, but it's not sticky, which is what I personally, when a product is sticky and just greasy, it's horrid. Um, and so for me, when this product, it's not sticky, um, it's, uh, it's just a little bit tacky and it's the texture, as I said earlier, is very smooth. It's not greasy at all. Once it dries, it, um, it dries to be completely, you don't even know that it's on your skin. So that's what I love about it. Um, so in that respect, I think it's awesome. Um, now the price, the price is $38. Uh, do I think that's a little bit steep? For, you know the amount that you're getting you're getting a fluid ounce um, I understand that it's $38 because it's you know a high-end product um, I don't know honestly um, do I feel like that's a fair price for um, what you're getting as far as quality um, yeah I honestly I do that's probably the first time I've agreed with a price for a high-end product um, with the type of quality that it is. So, um, the $38, I do feel like it's fair. Um, do I think you could get this same thing out of a drugstore primer? I'm sure you could. Um, I have not tried, but I'm sure you could find something comparable to it. Um, so yeah. Um, so overall, I feel like this primer is, uh, pretty darn awesome. Um, I just, I, I think it does a lot for my skin. Um, for people that have dry skin, I still feel like they would get the benefit out of this um, just because um, it's, I'm not gonna say it's hydrating, but it doesn't dry you out. So if you do have dry skin, um, I would maybe even just give this a shot and just see um, if it, uh, if it, you know, if it does what you want it to do. Um, I don't see that it would dry you out. Um, so I think dry skin people could use it. Um, I think it's, I really think it's great for everybody to use. So um, yeah, honestly for this, 
for this product, I give it a two thumbs up. I really do. So, all right, my friends. Primer. Well, I think that is it for this review. I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.